All right, man. So what is up, guys? Airball ball here. I'm back with another video, and this is going to be the best six foot six ISO guard, two way three level shot creator build. I'm gonna be tweet twenty five. So not gonna waste any time. It's just straight in the video. So we're gonna go right hand. Um, jersey number doesn't really matter. We're just gonna hit continue. Now starting off with the position, we're gonna go point guard. All right, six foot six for the height. Like I said, is a six six ISO guard. The weight is gonna be one hundred and ninety five pounds. So we get that eighty six speed with ball, which gets us that gold lightning launch, which will be pretty solid. Uh, and the wingspan, we're gonna stay at six foot ten, so we get the eighty nine three ball. You guys see if we go any higher, we can't get eighty nine. And the reason why I want eighty nine three pointers is to get the um, silver limitless range and also gold set shot special. So we're gonna go six foot ten wingspan with a six foot six height and one ninety five weight. Now starting off with the finishing, we're gonna go with a sixty seven close shot. This doesn't really give you any badges in particular, but it's honestly it's fine because you'll have driving lip and driving duck. Driving lip is gonna be eighty, which gets you that um, the float game you get lamp mix master you get. You know, just decent enough badges. You'll get some animations as well. With the 80 driving lip, you should be able to get a decent amount of layups, you know, to go in. Uh, driving dunk is going to be an 87. So you get the uh, post riser on silver. We just got to upgrade the vertical to 75. And we'll be able to get that on silver. And you'll also be able to get the pro contact dunks off too. So, and like mainly, like on most of my builds, honestly, they have 87 driving dunk. It's just because it's, it's a pretty cheap attribute, especially for shorter builds, like guards and stuff like that. So having that 87 driving dunk is going to be pretty solid. You'll be able to get contacts. You'll have silver posterizer and you'll be able to dunk in traffic, which is really what matters when you're making a build like this. You know, I was just trying to ISO. Now moving on to uh, the shooting. The mid-range is going to be a 79. All right, 79 midi. We're going to go with an 89 three-pointer, which gets us, like I said, that gold set shot specialist and that silver limitless range at the same time. So make sure you go 89 three ball to get those two badges. And if you don't go any, um, if you don't go higher, or if you don't get 89, then you're basically just selling yourself. Uh, this free throw is going to be a 60, um, 68. All right, we're going to have a 68 free throw. And the pass accuracy is going to be a 71. All right, so 71 is just enough to get that silver diamond, which is really all we want. And it's a tier 2 badge, which means you can use your max plus 1 on that and get it up to gold if you wanted to. Uh, if you want a higher pass accuracy, like maybe 75, I mean, I don't really see why it would go 75 because, I mean, you get break starter, but you don't really need break starter. Because they're not a center grabbing rebounds and throwing it all the way down the court. So I would say go 71 just for the silver diamond. And 82, you can get gold diamond, but it's just it's way too expensive in my opinion. So we're just going to go with 71 to get that silver. Now moving on to ball handle, it's going to be 86, which is enough to get us that ankle assassin and also handles for days um, on silver. And we'll be able to get unpluggable on silver as well. And we'll also be able to get a strong handle on um, silver, I believe. So yeah, uh, ball handle is going to be solid. The uh, speed of ball is going to be 86, which is that gold lightning launch. So again, pretty solid. Um, you know, you, we need that at least to 86. If you go 85 or like 80, you could go 80 really, but I wouldn't go 85. I would just go 86. Hit the plus one and get that lightning launch on gold. Um, so the playmaking, again, decent. You'll be able to pass the ball just fine. I'm try trust me, 71 pass accuracy is just fine in this game. So I would just go with that, but obviously if you wanted to go higher, maybe if you're playing like comp rec or something like that, then, you know, or comp pro am, then maybe go higher on the pass accuracy and sacrifice one of the other attributes, you know, that'd be just fine. Now moving on to interior defense is going to be a 56, all right, 56 um, interior defense. Uh, and then the perimeter defense is going to be 85, which gets us that silver um, on ball menace. So we just got to upgrade the agility, I think. Yeah, the agility for both of these. We'll get us that silver on ball menace, silver pick dodger, and silver challenger, which would be solid enough. Uh, especially because you're six foot six. I mean, you should be able to get contest on a decent amount of perimeter shots. I know the contest system is kind of bad in this game, but look, it is what it is. 85 perimeter should definitely help out at least a little bit in terms of playing defense. And moving on to steel, we're going to get um, 91, which will get us that gold glove. We'll also be able to get gold interceptor as well. You can go 94. Maybe use your cap breakers, get 94 steel for Hall of Fame. Or it could really be toxic. You can go plus five, get the 96 steel for your Hall of Fame glove. It's really just personal preference, but for me, I would just go 85 and then 91. So you get these um, defensive attributes. The block is going to be a 68, which just gets you that high fund denier on bronze. Uh, which I mean, this is it's a pretty solid badge, I would say. You know, bronze is definitely definitely makes a different difference from not having it at all. And 68 block, you know, you'll, you'll be able to get chase downs and things like that, especially being six foot six, like I said. So having that 68 block, I think, will definitely be um, very nice on this build. The speed, we're going to keep at 81, all right? And the agility, we're going to go up to an 81. We need at least an 80 agility, I would say, to be, like, at least competent in terms of playing defense on the perimeter. Uh, so 81 agility is what we went with. But if you really want to, like, lowball this, you go, like, 76 if you wanted to, just to get the on-ball menace. But me personally, I would like a little bit higher from agility just to, you know, get a better... Um, you know, just be able to guard the perimeter better. So I'll go 81 agility, 
with that 81 speed. We can only go minimum or, uh, minimum 81 speed because as you guys can see here, it's tied on the ball handle, which needs to be 86. So 86 speed will ball, you're going to have an 81 speed no matter what. So go at least 81 speed. You can go higher or, lower, or higher if you wanted to, but don't go lower because we need that 86 speed will ball for that lightning launch badge. Now moving on to uh, strength. We're going to get a 71, which is just enough for a movable enforcer on bronze. And we really just upgrade the strength to just get physical finisher as well. And we'll be able to get strong handle on silver as well as a movable enforcer on bronze, which, which again will help out with guarding the perimeter and people trying to drive and things like that. So 71 strength, I'd say, is definitely pretty solid on this game. Um, you know, just especially for being a guard, most guards actually don't have strength on this game. So, you know, being 6'6 with strength, with good perimeter defense, with decent enough speed. I think will be very solid. I'm moving on to vertical. We're going to go with a 75. And I guess I messed something up. I think it's the uh, the free throw. I think it's supposed to be 66. And then we get 75 post control. And then, let's see, 67. Okay, yeah, we can do that. Uh, my original build, I had a 42 post control. But I don't really need 42. So I'll just go 67. Uh, so, yeah, this is what the build is looking like, man. You get, obviously, really good shooting. You're going to have the gold set shot. You're going to have the silver limitless. You're going to get contact dunks you're gonna get the good layup packages you're gonna get silver physical finisher so in terms of that you're looking pretty good passing it's not the greatest but it's decent enough where you can get by ball handling for for being 6'6 having an 86 ball handle definitely isn't bad and 86 speed will ball for again for being six foot six is pretty solid on this game interior is fine enough you know you're six six perimeter defense is 85 steel 91 you know you get these two gold badges make use your max plus one on uh speed i mean again decent enough agility you could go higher on this i could definitely see why you would go higher uh than 81 agility so if you're really struggling with like a, a lower agility maybe on like one of your other builds and maybe go up on the agility but for eight like 81 agility should be solid enough to where you can guard other guards pretty consistently the strength i mean like i said you're gonna be kind of an outlier for most of the guards who don't have like 50 strength or whatever so 71 strength will be good and then the vertical would need that to be 75. So you get that silver post starter and the pro contact dunks off too, which again will be very important for this building. So now we're going to hit continue. The shades are going to be Lonzo Ball, Jalen Suggs, and Steve Francis. All right. And then the build name is going to be called, like every other guard build on this game, you guessed it, a two way, three level shot creator. All right. It's, I'm not going to lie, every single build has this name. Like it's just every single good guard build has this name. Um,. You know, it is what it is, to be honest. Like, two-way throw level shot creator, very, very common name. And you'll see most guard builds with it because it doesn't matter what height you are, what attributes you are. Uh, most of the guard builds have as good shooting, good playmaking, good finishing, good defense. Then you get that name. That's going to do it for the video. Uh, if you guys liked it, make sure you comment and subscribe. I post every single day on this channel. Mainly build videos, but I can also post tutorials and things like that uh, on this channel. But, uh, yeah, this is Airball. Peace.